Hey guys, so this is a part three try and haul and first impressions review of products that I got recently. This is mainly going to include all the stuff that I got from Victoria's Secret, but I do have a few other things that I wanted to share with you guys first. So in the last video, I was swatching lipsticks at the end of the video, but there were a couple lip of lipsticks that got cut off because my camera died. So the first one was one that I swatched in the last video, but I didn't go over my thoughts that much. This is the Milani lipstick and it's in the shade Lingerie. So I'm going to swatch this again for you guys. This is what the color looks like. It's a very pretty melony type of color. And then I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to swatch it a little bit better. And I'm going to swatch on my lips for you guys. So this is what the color looks like. It's really pretty. It's like a sheer formula because this is more like a balm type. You can tell by just the way it looks in the tube. It's kind of balmy and it's kind of like a watermelon type of color. I really love this shade. I usually don't go for these type of pinks because I think they look a little bit bright, but because this is a balm and I think it's slightly more muted than a super bright pink, like a hot pink, this looks a little bit more natural and it's just, I mean, not too natural, but it's not like over the top, bam, in your face pink where it looks neon. So I think this looks a lot prettier and I think it looks really nice. Also, I want to say with the formula of this, it feels like a balm where it's pretty hydrating. Um, it doesn't have like a minty feeling or anything, but it just feels very nice and it's not drying at all. So that's what I have to say about it, but it's really pretty. It definitely has the feeling of a chapstick, but it's in a lipstick. So if you like that type, I think this would be for you. And it's pretty pigmented too for like a balmy kind of lip. Okay, so the next shade I want to share with you guys is the Buxom lipstick. This is in the shade, this is the Full Force lipstick and it's in the shade Fly Girl. So this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like swatched. And then let me put on my lips. hard for me to tell exactly how to describe this. It's kind of beigey, I would say. It's like a tan kind of beigey nude. And it it's kind of like interesting. It's a little bit different, a little bit unique. I don't think it goes very well with my teeth. It kind of makes my teeth look more yellow. I want to say it might have like a yellow undertone to it, but it's kind of hard to tell just because it really emphasizes the yellow on my teeth. But it's a nice shade. I will probably wear this with a lip liner. It also kind of, um, it's it has a unique undertone to it where I feel like it might be like slightly yellow undertone. It's hard to tell. So I just have to say it's a little bit different and I would wear it with a lip liner, but it is pretty. I like that it's not too matte because I think if it was matte, it would look kind of funny. But since it has some shine to it, I think it looks a little bit more flattering. Also, the formula on these. So these Buxom lipsticks, 
feel very different than what I was expecting. I didn't know what to expect, but these feel more like they're lip glosses. I was not expecting that. It has that tingly, like minty feeling to it. And it feels very nourishing on the lips. So it feels like the opposite of like a matte lipstick where, you know, it feels very drying, very tugging on your lips. This has like that minty kind of feeling, very nourishing. Um, kind of feels like a plumping lip gloss, but it's a plumping lipstick. So I really like this. I think it looks nice and I, the formula is really great. So yeah, I have to say if you like that type of feeling for a lipstick, get this one. It won't, it won't, um, cause dry patches on your lips and it'll feel very hydrating and nourishing. So if you want that in the lipstick, go for this one. And the color itself is unique too, so. Okay, so the last shade I wanna share with you guys, this is the MAC Smoked Almond Lipstick. So this is what it looks like. Then let me swatch it for you guys. Oh, I really like this color. Now, I live for these type of nudes. I don't know what it is, but like anything slightly pink or reddish brown is like right up my alley. This is different than Velvet Teddy. Velvet Teddy is a little bit more brown tone. I'd say this is a little bit more pink tone, but it has a slight brown tint to it. It's very pretty, um, slightly peachy too, just slightly, but more pinky. Um, I love this shade. It's very nice, like everyday kind of shade. Really beautiful. So this is a swatch on my arm and then on my lips. And this one, I'd say I don't need a lip liner. Like the Milani one, don't need a lip liner, but I could. This one, I really don't need a lip liner, but I could if I wanted to, you know? So I think it looks good on its own. Unlike the Buxom one, I think I'd really need a lip liner just to kind of separate between my skin tone and my lip color a little bit. But this is a really beautiful shade, really flattering too. I think it would work on a variety of skin tones. Um, certainly not every skin tone, but definitely more than just super fair, which is nice. So like this one. I'm going to take this one off though, just because I don't think it, it goes okay with the shirt, but I think, I don't know. I would actually wear a lighter pink color with this shirt, but I'm going to switch to the Lani one just for the sake of the video. Okay, so I switched the lipstick. Really like this shade. So if I'm going in order, this is the Milani lipstick, the first one. The second one, and then the Milani's in the shade Lingerie. Then the Buxom lipstick in the shade Fly Girl is the second shade. And then the third shade is the MAC Smoked Almond right here. But these are all beautiful. Oh, and I want to say with the formula of the smoked almond, it feels really nice. It's it's not as hydrating. This is an amplified cream, so it's not as hydrating as the Buxom one or the Milani one, but it does not feel like it's tugging at your lips or super matte and drying at all. So it's really nice, and it kind of um, has like that kind of cupcake kind of scent to it, but it's really nice. The MAC lipsticks are my favorite formula of lipsticks, too. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to share with you guys, I did get these jeans from Walmart, and I wanted to show you guys what they look like on. So this is what it looks like on. They're really nice. This is what the back looks like. So yeah, I really like the jeans, um, and I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like on. 
very simplistic too. They're just for work anyways. So nothing crazy. And then um, I'm not going to show you guys the slip resistant shoes on. I mean, they're not even that cute. Okay, so I have one more thing to share with you guys that isn't Victoria's Secret related. So I did get some lashes. These were from the other video I showed you guys. These are the Kiss Lash Couture Naked Drama Lashes in the Style Chiffon. And I wanted to show you guys, so I know I showed you guys what it looks like. These are the lashes. But I wanted to show you guys what it looked like on. So for this video, I did switch out the lashes. I'm not wearing Royal Silk anymore. And instead, I am wearing the chiffon lashes. I did cut off the ends though, just so you guys know. But these are really pretty. They're slightly more natural than the like Royal Silk lashes because they're not as like full and everything although they are still very f pretty full like lashes they're not um they're not natural by any means but they're really pretty and I really love these a lot so yeah I'm really happy with them I love how they separated each lash like the way that looks I think it looks really pretty and flattering so yeah I have to say these are really good and I see myself wearing them a lot Okay, now I'm going to share with you guys all the stuff that I got from Victoria's Secret. So, I did get two different orders. I got an online order and then an in-store order. So, let me just share with you guys what I got. Um, I'm just going to share with you guys both of them. Okay. So the first thing that I got, I got a new water lotion. So this is what it looks like. This has sea minerals and hyaluronic acid in it. It's part of their replenishing body lotion. I didn't even open it yet. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I didn't open it yet. I'll try to open it a little bit later. But I wanted to compare it, you guys, to the old water lotion. So let me see how. So this has a specific scent. It kind of has like a chlorine, super clean scent. They do smell different to me. But pretty similar. Okay, so honestly, I want to say I like the old one better. It has like a slightly, it's stronger, I feel like, and it has like more of like a chlorine kind of clean scent to it. This one, I don't know, they're both good. They're just a little bit different. I don't know, it has like a different smell to it, like slightly, just slightly. It reminds me a little bit more of like that sweet pea kind of scent. I don't know than this one. This one is a little bit less like that. But they're both good. I, you know, I like this one. I love the way it feels though. That's the best part of this lotion. I didn't love it at first. I didn't love this one at first, but it was the way it felt that made me like it more. It feels so hydrating on the skin. So this is said to have hyaluronic acid, sea minerals. It feels super nourishing, hydrating, and it's a very lightweight lotion. It feels watery, and those are my favorite kind of lotions. I know a lot of people's least favorite kind of lotions are those, but to me, they feel really nice. It feels really light on the skin, but I feel like it gets into the skin more. Like when I have those super thick lotions, they just kind of like flake off the skin in my opinion. Like some of them work really well, like the body butters, but then the lotions, if they're too thick, I think it just, it gets too oily and greasy and it starts to clump off the skin. So I prefer like lighter weight ones as long as they get into the skin more. But yeah, this feels really nice. I think the scent's nice. I don't like it as much as the old formula though, but I do like it. My sister, however, liked this one more, so... I think it just depends on your taste. The next thing, um, but yeah, I love all of these like pink lotion. The um, way they feel on the skin is really nice. I like it even more than the Bath and Body Works lotions, honestly. Um, which is like the opposite of most people. 
The next one I got is the Honey Lotion. Now, I haven't... Okay, so this one. This one's nice. It's a very simple scent. So I got this because of Natalie Grace. She would rave about it. It has honey and shea butter. I don't see anything else. Yeah, it's simple. It's like a slight honey scent, but it's not like over the top. To me, it kind of smells like, like honey and like a little bit like vanilla, but I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. It's nice though. It's it's like a lighter honey, like it's not too heavy on the honey. So I think it's really nice. I was kind of afraid of like a honey scent, but this one's actually really nice. But it's very simplistic to me. Like it's like not much to it, but I do like it. Then I also got the Honey Mist. I'm pretty sure this smells the same. Yeah, it smells, you know, it kind of has like the same type of honey vibe of the Bath and Body Works, um, what is it, Honey Wildflower one. Very similar, but it's just like one note of that, and it's the honey note. It's really nice. It says it has honey drizzle and purple dahlia and whipped vanilla. Okay, so this does have vanilla in it. Yeah, I get the vanilla too. Barely get the dahlia, but like a little bit. It just adds like a slight sweetness to it and freshness um but it's really pretty I like it a lot I think I'll definitely wear this a lot if you like that like a simple kind of scent this one is for you it's simple but it's comforting because it's a little bit warm but not over the top and it's not too much of anything so that's a good one so I did get two other mist um from pink this is the PSL one so I heard from uh, Jasmine Ballard here on YouTube. She said that this smells like uh, Bath and Body Works. It was another pumpkin one. I can't think of the name, but it's a pumpkin scent. It smelled like that, and it, it does. It really does. It smells like the can't even think of the name of it right now this is very similar though so it has pumpkin spice latte whipped cream and I believe this one also has no it just says that's it yeah it's very similar to that one um I can't even think of the name of it sorry guys it's very similar but I would say this one's stronger like I think she said that too it's a little bit stronger on the pumpkin spice note and I have to say I think she said it on the whipped cream note to me it's stronger on the pumpkin spice but it's really really good um I got this one because I didn't mind them smelling the same oh it's the same as marshmallow pumpkin latte almost the same guys almost the same I would get one or the other I wouldn't get both um, but I only had the minis anyway, so I wanted a full size and I just decided to get this one because I love the packaging. Um, but yeah, it's a very similar, I would just say it's a little bit stronger on the pumpkin spice and the latte note. Like it's stronger in the coffee and the pumpkin spice to me. But they're both really good. I love both of them and they smell nice. I get a little bit of the whipped cream, but not over the top. But yeah, this one's really nice. I like it. Um, the next one is Basic Vanilla. This has toasted marshmallow and warm chai. Now, Jasmine also said that this smelled similar to another pink mist. I forgot if it was like Whip Dream or something. I don't know. But I never had that one that she mentioned. So I got this one anyways. So this one, I smell the chai more than I was expecting. It's like a lighter chai, but it's, you still get it. It's still there. And to me, and I do get a little bit of marshmallow, but I feel like it's more, to me, it reminds me of Bear Vanilla La Creme. It kind of smells like a little bit minty, like it's almost minty, but it's really that chai I'm getting. 
So to me, it smells like it's almost like going to be vanilla, but then that chai comes in like where it's, you know, it kind of smells like the bare vanilla la creme where it's a little bit like a minty vanilla, but then I get it that it's chai instead of mint, if that makes sense. So to me, it smells like bare vanilla la creme, but instead of the, the minty note that you get from that, instead you're getting a chai no but this one's really good i think i'll wear this a lot i love the smell of this so good okay so the next thing i want to share with you guys okay so i got this i got online this is the victoria's secret like it's basically like a little hoodie sweater thing and it's so cute it's like the zip up let me show you guys what it looks like on this is in the size large. So this is the sweater. Really cute. Let's see? You can see the sleeves are a little bit long on me because I got a size large. I probably should have got a medium, but I kind of wanted a little bit baggy. And I love this. It's so cute. So I am obsessed with this. And you will find me in this for, for forever. But this one's really cute to me. And yeah, I mean, it's very simple, but I got this on sale online. I believe it was like in their clearance section, probably. And it was like really cheap too. So I love this. Okay. Then I did get these shorts these are beautiful you guys this is a size large they actually ran out of medium I would get medium usually but I ended up going large I don't know I feel like they might be a little bit big on me but I had to get the flower ones and I was afraid of going too small too look how pretty I'm obsessed these are like the most beautiful like this was one of their most be beautiful design with the flowers so I'm obsessed Last thing I got, you guys, so I got the Victoria's Secret Tees Candy Noir. I am obsessed, you guys. So, so when I first spray it, it's like this strong scent. And to me, it reminds me of patchouli, but I don't see patchouli notes from like online. But I really got like patchouli for some reason. But then it's a dries down and it's like this delicious like sweet scent like kind of like candy like but it's like a sexy like candy type of scent you know it slightly reminds me of pink vanilla wish when I'm wearing it like the more I wear it it reminds me of body uh ecology I believe that's what it's called pink vanilla wish from Walmart but it's definitely better than that I mean <laughs> But it slightly reminds me of like that sprinkle kind of like floral type of scent. Um, but it's so, so good. I don't know how to explain it. It's like dark. It's like dark, a little bit sultry, a little bit sexy, but then candy-like. And it's such a good like perfumey scent. I'm literally obsessed. And I couldn't stop smelling of myself like all day with this. So yeah, I think I'm going to bring it into like my fall scents to wear along with these other ones that I got. I want to do um, project use it up. I would call it more like just get used out of my products um, because if they use it up. I just get really bored with the scent. So I want to do like where I focus on a certain amount of scents to use during the fall time. So I think I'll do it for that. But this is amazing, you guys. Like, so good. If you were thinking about getting it, get it. But I would, you know, try to smell it first in store. But it's really amazing. So. All right, you guys. That is all of the things that I got from Victoria's Secret. Thank you guys so much for watching. And hope you have a great day.